Let's go, man. Everybody right over there. Lewis. <laughs> Lewis, my friend. My... If, if my eyes, and especially my ears, do not deceive me, you have a very special guest sitting with you tonight. Please introduce him to the audience. Oh, but we do, my goodness. Uh, sitting in with the band tonight, we have 17-time Grammy Award winning, Bela Fleck. <laughs> Thank you, Bela. Thank you for being here. Uh, not only Bela Fleck is here tonight, but uh, we have two fantastic guests from Hacks. Hannah Einbinder is going to be out here in just a moment. And, and a man, uh, tru truly a, a, a gift uh, to the art of acting, Jeff Daniels will be out here in just a moment. Yeah. <laughs> Folks, if you watch the show, and I hope to do, you do, you know the most of my time I'm over here in the news kitchen, sourcing the day's finest uh, baleada story dough, carefully rolling it into the softest, most topical flats, carefully making three fine slits and gently frying it in arbequina olive oil and adding a drizzle of agave to present to you the flavorful yet delicate Honduran macheteada <laughs> breakfast pastry. Hey! That is my monologue. But sometimes, after escaping an experimental human-animal hybrid island, I... Shelter in an abandoned shipping container with Ulu, the raccoon-faced girl who helps me grind coconut husk into a paste which we mix with bilge water and pour into a discarded boot and let sit in the sun until it hardens into the castaway's gack muffin of news that is my segment. Meanwhile... <laughs> Macheteada. Macheteada. Yeah. Ulu. Ulu. <laughs> Meanwhile, authorities in Namibia have condemned tourists who pose naked in one of the country's top attractions, the Big Daddy Dune. <laughs> Come on, it's called the Big Daddy Dune. You gotta get a little freaky when you're there. I mean, after all, the folks at Yellowstone are totally okay with nudity at Mount Clap Them Cheeks. <laughs> Meanwhile, and bear in mind in this next story, everyone's fine, a Utah couple reunited with their pet cat after they accidentally shipped her with an Amazon return. Oh, I'm sure it was an accident. <laughs> Whoops, honey, I accidentally shipped your cat to Amazon. Darn it. I'm really going to miss waking up to Whiskers putting her butthole directly on my mouth. <laughs> Apparently, the cat, Galena, loves to play in boxes. And when her owners packed up a carton of steel-toed work boots for return, Galena jumped in and was trapped in the box for six days without food or water. So she wasn't just shipped to an Amazon warehouse. She's also qualified to work there. <laughs> Meanwhile, in Belgium, a nine-year-old boy from Derbyshire in the UK has won a European gull screeching championship. Here he is in action. That's amazing. And he's so committed to authenticity that immediately after the competition, he ate a French fry under a dumpster and then flew over the beach to crap in an old man's clam chowder. Anyway, congratulations to this young man. It really, he really is proving the truth of Europe's slogan. Europe, look what we have time for when everyone has health care. Oh, they're announcing best air guitar during a three-way. <laughs> Meanwhile. Wow. Wow. Three-way? Yeah. Three-way? <laughs> Meanwhile, America is facing a major cheese controversy because for the first time ever, a vegan cheese beat dairy in a big competition. Oh, my God. You are never going to hear the end of this from your insufferable vegan friend. <laughs> mm. 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 The Good Food Awards is an annual competition that awards foods that are good and... <laughs> In January, they announced this year's finalists for best cheese, among which was this vegan blue cheese. Okay, they've clearly captured the look 
of real blue cheese, but have they captured the flavor of severed foot fished out of a canal? <laughs> the vegan blue is the product of a company called Climax Foods. <laughs> Why? That is the most unnecessarily sexualized food company name since Kyle's Money Shot Hoagies. <laughs> wow. Wow. So, this was a major deal because vegan cheese, while allowed in competition, has until now never been good enough to be in a blind taste test and become a finalist. But then, just before the actual winner was to be announced, the foundation quietly disqualified the vegan cheese. And when asked why, declined to say. <laughs> then, the CEO of Climax revealed that their vegan cheese wasn't just a finalist, it was set to win the award, a fact that all parties were asked to keep confidential until the official ceremony. Really? Really? You couldn't just let vegans have this one thing? <laughs> they have no friends, they have no food. <laughs> Their bones are dissolved from lack of protein. You can yank out a femur and play it like a flute. And what's more, I want to try it. Let's see. Hey. Here we go. Here we go, let's do this right now. Mm. This is the actual cheese. I like it. You can really taste the foot. <laughs> we'll be right back with Jeff Daniels.